This is Mr. Purple Sam DJI YouTube. Yes. I hope you like, share, subscribe. Drop a comment. Subscribe now. Bro. What's your name? Oh, my name is Kerry Watson. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Hey, nilikuwa nimerudi. Hey, my name is Kerry Martin, but Purple Sam knows me as Babuji. Yeah. I am coming through Babuji. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Hey, you're best to Nagana. Guys, the partnership. Um, bringing Kerry Martin on board as an artist, it would be, it's a big, big opportunity for us. And as a talent personality, so I'm going to love my um, yeah, thank you, Tracy. As for us, as we said, we know the pains and tribulations that uh, time to go through to get their careers off the ground. And one thing they obviously need is uh, a fan base and some resources to focus on the music or their art as they build their careers. And one of the biggest tasks they always had is um, a check. They can sort of rebuild and sort of their lives. So with Kerry, being our first big signing, we will check if we want to actually share a new career. Uh, you see the watch. Okay. Alright? Thanks. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you. Thanks. Do I keep them in my pockets? I went to Angu. Yeah. So, um, talk to me about VAT. What? So VAT, apana. <laughs> Basically, VAT is value added talent. Yeah. We're adding value to your talent. We are a talent management agency okay. where we manage all sorts of talent, from music to DJing to photography to visual arts to athletes to chefs every single sort of talent we're adding value to it and putting money in your pocket because you're talented and one of the things or the two things that we do apart from uh, talent management is we do global tour productions where we produce to we work with record labels and produce tours for artists both internationally and locally where we have the capability and our homeboys entertainment we have the capability of holding any sort of event with any artist anywhere in East Africa. And that is one of the most integral things in artist growth. And apart from that, Tunafanya, bookings, international bookings for both local artists and international artists. Okay. Yeah. Quick one. So, when, when you say that VAT will handle artists, I mean, photographers, videographers and all that, so that means if I would want to maybe shoot I'm a maker, make like the videos that I do, mm -hmm. videos for concerts, mm -hmm. I could find myself in uh, concerts like Astronation, mm -hmm. Wireless, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah, That's the because, case. yes, because you as a videographer, you're a content creator, you create, you create content and conversations with, that go in line with the culture of, of entertainment. Mm -hmm. Your creativity is a talent. Not everybody with a good camera. If you give this camera that you're holding right now, kwa shosho yako, ata produce content in yuna produce. Ukisimamisha mtu kwa barabara hapa hivi, umpati yei camera, umambia produce content. Aezi kuproduce the same content because your creativity is what you see and what you want to go on and achieve. So that's where we are going to peg in your talent for you to explore your boundaries and 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 surpass them with what you want to do come a a videographer because i'm sure you've got dreams and aspirations to go on and take your talent globally lakini unashanga uko hivyo utafikaje ukiangalia south africa unaona the agencies there have learned how the international market works and they are able to work with their people and exp and make them go on and explore their talent around the world. So that's what we want to do. So if, if I happen to join the VAT, so how fast do things move for me to, to go international, to just be in such big st stages? Hard work. 
hard work uh, needs to be done as a team. Someone cannot, someone can push you as far as you want to go. It depends on your mental psyche. If you really want to achieve something, you can do it in a month, you can do it in a week, you can do it in a day. But if you're not passionate about it and you don't want to do it, you're not going to be able to achieve it as quickly as you want. And that, it's, 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 um, it entails things like, let me say for example, when, when 50 Cent was speaking and saying they were, they were working to perform at the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl performance is a 12 minute performance, but they rehearsed for three weeks straight for a 12 minute performance. Sequel buyer, but I've, I've, I've performed in events where rehearsal is the day before. Na rehearsal ni mic check one, two, one, two. Una nisikia uko sawa. Una ekewa level yako, unambua mic yako ni kuja kesho. Ndiyo una kuja kesho, una kill show. Lakini you've not really, you've not, that's not rehearsal. So what we want to do is make sure that you perfect your craft to a level that kila kitu yenye unafanya ni seamless and it's to the international level. So we need to grow your brand for you to get there before we take you out. And now we'll grow it to get there as you, as you explore our region in Kenya, in Uganda, in Rwanda, in, in Tanzania. And then now we explore over Nigeria, a DRC, a, an SA, and then explore even more. So it, it, it's a gradual um, process that has to work step by step. And those are the steps that we know this is what it entails for it to happen, and that's what we're going to do. For someone when he has a dilemma, why is the big chunk for the big check? What can you explain to them? What, what is it about? What will it help you? How will it help you? Mm. I think it's, it's, it's an investment in my brand with the dreams and aspirations and things that I want to do in my brand, Ho occupying that global stage and taking Kenyan music and Kenyan talent and Kenyan hosting out there with, with anything that you want to do for you to make money, you have to spend money. And one of the things that pegs creatives and people who are, who are talented ni ukona yo talent, ukona yo skill, lakini mfuko ina kulimit. Paka hawezi, ku, hawezi kujaribu ku explore, ku network. So that's what I'm going to do with the help of VAT. Because the person that has chosen to hold my hand is someone who understands this industry on a global scale. Uh, so without saying a lot more, I want to invite Kerry. Who is one of the latest signing to see about the team? Okay. And I'm ready to listen and I'm ready to know what it takes for me to get there. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do to help the upcoming MCs, people who want to join the VAT? What's the advice? We are going to do lots of VAT events. And with this VAT events, we want to showcase Kenyan talent by collaborating with international talent. Bring an international act and have them collaborate with, with Kenyan talent. In turn, we'll take Kenyan talent to go on and, and, and collaborate. And we are going to get into universities, find talent when it's raw, find people with dreams, and get to see how we can get to elevate them and get that talent globally. Interested as a, I'm talking as in the line of photography, videography. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone who's interested to join this VAT. Mm 
Mm -hmm. uh, just reach out to us at info at vat.co.ke and uh, send us an email. Tell us what uh, you do, how you'd want us to work with you, and our team is going to reach out. Something I need to understand mm. is, is VAT a management kind of company? Yes, it's a talent management company. Mm. Talent management agency, okay. where, we talent, where we manage talent exclusively and non-exclusively. Non-exclusively is we, we, we control, not really, we book you for shows, we look for work for you, depending on the work that you do or how your talent helps you and help you in elevating your talent as per the work that you have been booked for. An exclusive one is now we are going to take you and put you and keep you under our wing and nurture you and grow you specifically to your dreams with every single aspiration and dream that you have. The exclusive contract is heavier than a non-exclusive one. So that's why we have the two. Congratulations. Babuji signing out. Make sure to subscribe. Papo Sam. Tunenda Sean Paul. Of course. Ah, nice one. Tunenda Two Bunnies. Nice one. I love it. Great. Bye. And yeah, you're welcome to just network and live at your leisure. Thank you. Yes. I'm Mr. DJI. You're coming DJI camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mike. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody for making their time to come through and uh, be with us today for this special announcement. For those of you who know me, my journey in being a media personality uh, started off way back when I joined Homeboys Radio, where Homeboys put their trust in me in hosting a radio show, it started off with a weekend show, and then elevated and, and did a drive show for about nine years. And that's when my relationship with Mike and Homeboy started off, and look where I'm at right now. So I'd like to just mention and talk to you about VAT and why VAT is integral and important to each and every single personality, creative, if you're a talent, if you hold any sort of talent, you definitely need the representation because throughout my journey in being a personality in this industry, especially in the 254, one thing that we personalities here do, everybody runs as one man army, and Aniko, you could actually testify to that because you do a lot in uh, representing talent in the PR side, trying to get people on media tours and interviews and the whole world to get to know about them, but it's quite difficult because what we lack in Kenya is that level of representation and having an agency that would stand up for you. And those are the reasons as to why I personally chose VAT and pegged my, my brand in being part of this amazing feat and why we are targeting and being able to go on and do this. Now, one of the things that someone would dream of if you are a talent is being on the global stage and being given that representation for you to go international i want to do mc tours all over the world but it the journey has been quite difficult because you really do not know who for you need to go on and talk to for you to be on that afro nation stage because 
the event organizers and uh, agencies and, and everything in the entertainment industry, they don't work the way Kenya has been working internationally. That's why you get to see creatives in South Africa will pop because of agencies that would be out there to go and represent them. Creatives in Nigeria or West Africa will go and pop because they've got agencies, but the gap in East Africa and Kenya has been there for quite a while, and that is the gap that VAT is here to fill, and that's why you are here today, because each and every one of you play an integral part in the creative industry and why we all need to work together. Because I want you guys to continue eating, I just want to quickly mention a few things that we are about to do as VAT and why you need to be part of it. We are a talent management agency. We, talent, we manage all aspects of talent mm -hmm. and we are also a booking agent where we book international and local artists and work both ways where we book Kenyan artists to go on and perform internationally or Kenyan talent to go on and showcase themselves internationally and uh, international talent for them to come to the 254 and work with us. So I stand here proud to actually say that VAT has signed quite a number of uh, talent from South Africa. And just to name a few, we have got talent like Two Bunnies, we've got Yupe and Tito M, who did Chualabam, Tango Supreme, Success SA, Shegu, Kmat, and Cian Buji. And that's just a start because in the 254, we do represent quite a number of talented people, creatives, who are doing so much for the industry in the 254. Just to mention a few, we've got Melina Gold, Bonke West, Aziza Hashim, MGM, and now myself. And at VAT, I stand firm and hold two hats as the Chief Operations Officer, making sure that we get to work with talent because I understand the industry and I am talent as well. And just to mention a few things that we are going to do, for the millennials in the room, you remember Sepetuka. We are bringing Sepetuka on a whole different scale. On the 20th of December, we are bringing two bunnies from South Africa who are going to be performing at Sarit Expo Center together with Kenyan creatives like Mr. C, Sir M, Yuji, DJ and myself. This is not just the start, it is not just the only event, but it is the start. Because this Sepatuka event, we're naming it the Summer Bunnies Edition. Right after that, we could do an NYE jump off Sepetuka. We have got Lovers and Friends in February, which is going to happen. And we have March Madness, which is going to happen in March. That's just for this quarter and how VAT is going to impact. Moving forward, we're going to have Sepetuka each and every single month, not only just in the 254, but also, as I said, showcasing Kenyan talent to the world. So just watch this space and we are ready to make sure that the world knows what Kenya has got to offer. That's all I have to say for today. So make sure that you go on and uh, check our website. It's vat.co.ke. Follow us on our socials, Value Added Talent. We've got Sepetuka on Instagram. And we're about to do big things. Thank you so much for coming through. And always, it's great to have you guys here. Anytime. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Manze shukran sana. Eh eh actually tuipige hivyo. Tusipige tu kama interview. Uko ready? Niko ready. Yenda sana. Ready. Twende. action and silence. Yes, ni hii ama ni huko? If you want to know more, click hapa, click hapa. Ni wapi? Hapa ama utaweka hapa. Hapa click wapi? Wapa. Ndio hiyo. Asanteni sana manze. End. See you next time on VAT Value Added Talent. Nimeona hiyo. Tushai. Mpaka shai hii. He's with us. Hakuna hiyo opportunity. Madiko. Eh? Eh, ndio inafaa lazima uone. Oh. So when do you want to record? Yeah, I'll be here. I'll be here from here. I'll talk to Sarah here. What are you saying? I'm going to go to Sarah. Go to Sarah. Yeah. Serious? So come. So sorry. I'm going to go to the hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, creative studio, creative. This is mostly this place is occupied by homeboys immigrants, mm -hmm. and uh, the events team they sit here to work and craft and make sure that we've got like the right type of events. Is that what you're talking about? Is that what you're talking about? Ah, wow. As a big guy. Wow. Actually, these are trophies from the Homeboys Rugby team. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Every single accolade. That I wish Arsenal would have Yeah. Big up to them. Every single accolade that the rugby wow. team has, has won. At you wish Arsenal I wish to me, I'm going to say the same. <laughs> managing, managing the rugby team is part of the reason uh, where VAT, the idea of VAT actually came about. Yeah. Because, because yeah. Because these guys were really nurtured from them just being guys who loved playing rugby to proper athletes that were even coached to go and play in, in clubs in SA mm -hmm. and uh, other big rugby clubs around the country. Because what Mike did did for them is, you know, not your athlete, like you have to have a meal plan, a mini workout, you have to train every single day. So that's it's such a challenge when you're trying to be an athlete. And Akuna Pesa Kampuko. Like they were even put in, in apartments where they are fed what they need to eat. What yeah. meat they train, they put like a scheduled kabisa and they're also given us a lot. So they actually just within a span of uh, six months, like the team immediately transformed and they started beating the other big teams that are there. This is proof of what happened with the rugby team. The team is not there anymore because it was it was sold, but the or rather the name was given up for another big corporation to go on and take take them because mm -hmm. uh, of legal issues. Yes. Yeah, that was what I was going to ask. Nitemi Nitemi So this is a space where we get meeting. There's plenty of meeting rooms. Like we have meetings here, we brainstorm and everything. Because mm -hmm. Ukiona kuna whiteboards kabisa mm -hmm. and they screen everywhere what's in the morning. And they are open for anybody. Like let's say you have meetings, you you want to pitch to somebody, you can come through and use whatever space that is available, mm -hmm. including this. Mostly it's used for a lunch for people to wait before they come in. And then come through to this side. That's the booth, and it can fit a full acoustic. Why? 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 Why?
So this is a recording studio. Mm -hmm. It can fit a full uh, acoustic uh, band. Okay, no, not band, in Tonesha band. But if an artist is recording, this is the, the booth. Mm -hmm. I love producers on this side. This other side is for editing, sound, and uh, video. Come and show you. This is so well put together. 20 Mikawa Onyeshe. And it's, pro it's properly soundproof. Yeah. Producer sits here. Yeah. And can control everything to the other side. Mm. So from music to videos, everything is done over here with the booth over there. And then the other side. This is where most of you the video editing is done. Mama to mama to video editing is done on this side, editing yeah. uh, of um, the the music, the sound and everything. We equipment yote, this is our recording studio. Mm -hmm. Of which eventually VAT is going to be a record label. Ooh. And this is where we are starting from. It's giving empire. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go. Where was the homeboy studio? I don't know. I went to see. Oh, I don't know. This is nice. Outside last. Mm -hmm. So these are our office spaces. Into this side. This is where I sit. Okay. That's where Tracy sits on that side. And then this is this is where we come. Hi. Perspective clients that we want to sign. Oh. So we've got a space here. Basically, it's a lounge area. Nice. We just chill, and we we'll put up. We we'll usually put a screen here, play video games, and just hang out, relax. It's from a kitchen up the area where we can enjoy. Well, the judge will call them more modern space. Hello. Hi. Ooh. 
Can I call you Nafi? So this used to be the production studio. It's a full on rehearsal space for concerts. Like if you have a performance you want to rehearse, this space is, is open for you. Cause the equipment, this, this uh, mixer is audio and, and visual for everything that is happening over there. And it does the same as this. So depending on the scope of work that is being done, both can be occupied. Now let's go and show you that space. The far end so that you can make all your noise. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. eh, you can't hear nothing. Nothing comes out. Because there's two doors and it's Yo. it's it's soundproof mm -hmm. Pacacini. Ah. There's a studio to go to Mangani. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, coming up. Okay. It's it's Come soundproof Pacacini. So this whole space is enough to fill up to, to fit a whole band to the house. You can have a dope. DJ set up here with your mic, mm -hmm. turn on the lights, it's audio visual, there's 4K cameras all over, like this one, to go on and record, we we'll also put cameras and have a camera crew that will record your whole performance, package it, and you can put it up on your YouTube. And whatever is going on here can go live on YouTube as well. You remember when Yashinsky was rehearsing yes. for for Shin City, that sort of concept for going live through Safari Pump. Mm -hmm. It was HBTV that was doing that. So we have the capability to do that. So this is our smaller mm -hmm. rehearsal space. We have a go down where all the homeboys equipment is at, the concert equipment that you go on and see. So at the go down, there is a space where we've set up a stage that is fully functional to like every single aspect of it to smoke machines where now you can go and rehearse at whatever time you feel like as long as it's free eco jamhuri up to you so it's Koning just kosho ground eh, oh your, your space eh, iko karibu na gd eh, okay. so one of the warehouse space is ours so now we put up a stage just for artists, MCs, and DJs to go perfect their craft. Record it, put it out. Just that. Because one thing, like I told you, that we are missing is when 50 Cent was recording for, was it you or Steli? Mm -hmm. When 50 Cent was recording for the Super Bowl. It's mm -hmm. a 12-minute performance. Yeah. But they did that rehearsal for three weeks straight. Okay. Every okay. single day they are rehearsing for 12 minutes. Who can the rehearsal your gigs? Sina kwanga ni mic check one two. Una nisikia mic sisiki na the day before your event. The day before. Unless you mwenyewe ujipange. Eh ujipange ule ule kufanya rehearsals mwenyewe. Yeah. So now we want to change the whole the whole uh, way of thinking in our industry for people to perfect their brand and perfect their craft for the international market. So that, you know, if you put in seriousness in what you do, yeah. um, even whoever is booking you would be as serious. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So this is the dream. And that's what we're trying to do. And I like this. This used to be our studio. And it was our desk. So the desk, the desk used to start from here. It would carve all the way till here. We had a DJ booth here. So you'd go in, you'd go in through there and then sit and you face this way. There'd be, there were now mics all around and the DJ mic and the homeboys with logo here. We used to be so far, yeah. It's, mm -hmm. yeah. So now this whole space, what I want is to change how it looks. I don't like these colors, they're too dull. Even though when the lights come on, yeah. To a techno na jonga kuasha is it? When the lights come on, mm. it looks good, but still the walls are not giving. So we do something with it. But yeah, all this is open. 
for you to use. I'll send you a contract. Okay. You two might be busy with the other contract. Mm-hmm. I'll sign. Send you contracts, you have a look at them, and we can just start talking from there. Send in your contract to Laura. I need to hear your music. Okay. The tour is done for now. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, sir. How did they perform? Yeah. Very nice. Oh, okay. this Wonderful. Was really exciting. Yeah. And I'm already thinking about what exactly mm. I want mm. to do and mm. how that can fit into actualizing your vision. Mm. Yeah. Because I know for me, 31st is very, very important. Yeah. So we're definitely going to talk about that. Yeah, it's yes. big. Mini kuna gig 20th na rehas kila siku. Imagine that's gonna be fire. Na fanya kila siku na ma DJ wote. Walai. Nijue, nijue set ziko aje. Except the ones coming from SA. Them I'm not going to shika the mic. Yeah. They usually have their own line. I'll let them do their thing. But Mr. C, Sian, Yuji, and Jade. All of them are very fire DJs. We are going to do some. Kitaishi hapa hivi. Hmm. Okay, you want to pull this out on the side. Ah, yeah. Send you the stuff. Stay in the jam. Mm-hmm. That's the end of the side. Mm-hmm.